So our next stop is this problem. Two blocks of masses M, M is two kilogram in value, and twice M, so that means it's four kilogram, are connected to a spring of spring constant K equal to 200 Newton per meter that has one end fixed. So we have a spring here, which has a spring constant K. K is 200 Newton per meter. And the two masses are connected through a string. So the first mass is on the horizontal plane and the second mass is hanging uh, with the help of the pulley. And the blocks are released from the rest with the spring relaxed. The first question talks about what's the combined kinetic energy of the two blocks when the hanging block has fallen 0 0.9, 0 0.09 meter. Uh, what is the kinetic energy of the hanging block when it's fallen 0 0.09 meter? What's the maximum distance does the hanging block fall before momentarily stop? It's a very interesting problem and it might appear to be a difficult problem if we are not careful enough. So let's proceed with caution. So at the beginning, what we need to do is to understand that in this whole system, we have no source of energy wastage. So that means all the forces that's been working are conservative forces, right? Because uh, the gravitational uh, pull uh, on this object here is pulling it downward, so we have twice mg working in the downward direction. And uh, the spring force is, uh, as the object's moving downward, there is this string which makes this object accelerate as well. So whatever amount this object uh, goes to the right, the spring gets extended, and the spring as a reaction is also applying a spring force in the opposite direction. So that means the object moves by x amount. So this is x, the spring applies a force which is minus kx. But we're not concerned with the force, what we're concerned about is the energy. So it moves by a certain direction x, it picks up a certain velocity because the system is accelerating so what we're going to do is to write down the energy equation so at the beginning everything starts from the rest but as it moves by an amount x let us assume the objects pick up the velocity v because their velocity has to be equal because they're connected by an ideal string so what do we have we have um, the kinetic energy which is half twice m and then v squared and then we have half m v squared and then we have the potential energy which is plus half k x squared okay so that's in the spring but remember we also have the potential energy with respect to the ground so if we assume at the beginning the uh, potential energy stored in the gravitational field was twice m times h, so the initial position was h, then after moving x uh, distance, the potential energy has decreased, so what we have here is plus twice m times h minus x and of course we have to multiply g in both places so these two are going to do the same so the right hand side cancels this factor right here so what we have is the combined kinetic energy which is this which is uh, k total equal to so this is k total so 2 cancels 2 and then 1 plus half is 3 by 2 mv squared and this is given by 
what do we have? We have um, 2mgx minus half kx squared. So if we if we try to find it out, we simply have to plug in x equal to uh, 0 0.9 meter in here. So that gives us 2 times uh, the mass, which is 2 kilogram, so 2 kg, times 9.8 meter per second squared, times 0 0.09. I think there should be an extra zero here. Uh, meter. Let's make some room. And then we have minus half K. Well, K was 200, as far as I remember. Yes, it was 200. So times 200 uh, Newton per meter times um, then X squared is 0 0.09 squared meter squared. Okay, so let me plug this into the calculator. So our calculator says the result should be 2.718 joules. So that's the total kinetic energy. The next question is, what is the kinetic energy of the hanging block when it's fallen uh, 0.09 meter? So we'll have to find out the V right now. So we can find out V by solving this equation right here for x equal to 0 0.9 meters. So let's do that. So this is our simplified equation. So let's just plug in the numbers. So first of all, the v square is on one side. So what do we have? We have 3 by 2 mv squared. So if we multiply everyone by 2 by 3, we have mv squared which is the kinetic energy of the large mass. So that for the large mass, we had half into twice mv squared, which is just mv squared. So that will be equal to twice mgx minus half kx squared. And we have to multiply that by two divided by three. So if we plug in, we have 4mgx divided by 3 minus 1 third kx squared. We have 4 times 2 kilograms, so kg, times 9.8 meter per second squared times x. So x is 0 0.09 divided by 3 minus one third and then for k we have 200 newton per meter times x squared so which is 0 0.9 0 0.09 uh, whole squared times meter squared so simplify that for the first term we have 2.352 uh, joule right and for the second term we have 100 times 0 0.09 squared, so that results in 0 0.81 joule, which is essentially, excuse me, I think I've made a mistake, I should have 3 here, 1 over 3. Okay, so that gives us 0 0.54 joule, right? And if we subtract this from 2.352 joule, we find the result to be 1.812 joules. So that should be the result of number B. Finally, for the last question, we'll have to find out the maximum distance the hanging block falls before it momentarily stops. So how can we find this? Um, if the object fall, if the object stops momentarily, that means the velocity is zero. So if we write down the equation of the conservation of energy and just plug in v equal to zero there, I think that will solve our problem. So if you remember, we started with the kinetic energy, so half m uh, twice m times 
v squared plus half m v squared. So that was the kinetic part and the potential part was half kx squared, right? So this is maximum, x is maximum when v equal to zero. Then what do we have? We have plus twice m times h minus x times g equals twice m uh, g h. So uh, when x is maximum, so x uh, equal to x max, what do we have? We have v equal to zero because the object has to stop. So that would indicate that half k x max squared minus twice m g x equal to zero. And this x is x max, of course. So we can cancel a couple of things. Uh, we can just cancel x max once. So what do we find? We find x max equals 2mg times 2 divided by k. So we have 4 times 2, so that's 8, 8 times, so 8 kg kilogram times 9.8 meter per second squared divided by 200 newton per meter. Okay, so once again, let me grab my calculator and plug these numbers in. And the calculator replies that it should be 0 0.392 meter. Okay. Uh, because as you notice the kilogram times meter per second squared that gives us newton we have newton in the downstairs divided by meters so a meter goes upstairs so everything is consistent and that concludes this problem